a very good morning to all of you. Today we are going to learn how to solve the differential equations involving direct delta function using Laplace transform. For example, solve the following differential equation by using Laplace transform. d2y dt2 plus 2y equal to 3 delta t minus 2 pi Given the initial condition y bracket 0 equal to 0, y prime 0 equal to 0 means when t equal to 0, both y and y prime are equal to 0. For the solution, first step, taking the Laplace transform at both hand side. Okay. Laplace transform for okay, second derivative is equal to s squared ys minus s y 0 minus y prime 0. Laplace transform for 2y will be 2ys. Okay. And Laplace transform for 3 times delta t minus 2 pi is 3 times of exponent minus 2 pi s. Second step, insert the initial condition y 0, okay, equal to y prime 0 equal to 0 into the okay, step 1 here once you get the s squared y s oh, y 0 is equal to 0 y prime 0 equal to 0 so you have s squared y s plus 2 y s equal to 3 times exponent negative 2 pi s step 3 solve for y s okay, you factor out y s at the left hand side so you have okay, ys bracket okay, more, s squared plus 2 okay, right hand side remain the same so solve for the ys so it brings the s squared plus 2 okay, this is multiplied bring the right hand side become divide by s squared plus 2 so the ys is equal to 3 times exponent negative 2 pi s divided by s squared plus 2 step 4 Taking the inverse Laplace transform at both hand side, we notice that okay, when we're taking the inverse Laplace of the ys, we we'll get the yt, and the right hand side here that is in the form of inverse Laplace of exponent negative as fs, where the result okay, will be equal to ft minus a ht minus a. This is a okay, second shift property. So we compare the right hand side here okay, with the second shift property. Hence, we notice that fs we will compare with here the second shift property. So fs is three over s squared plus two. Okay, and compare okay, exponent negative two pi s with exponent negative a s. Hence, a is actually two pi. So the result will be f t minus 2 pi multiply h t minus 2 pi. So to get f t minus 2 pi, h t minus 2 pi, first of all you have to get the f t. To get f t, you have to identify the f s. So this is f s. So taking the inverse Laplace of f s, which is mean inverse Laplace of 3 over s squared plus 2, you get 3 over s2 sin s2 t. Because here, remember, okay, in sin, remember, mm. the Laplace transform of the sin is actually, you have a over s squared, okay, sorry, uh, the inverse Laplace of a over s squared plus a squared, you will get sin a t, you have sin a t, right? So there's like 2 here is actually set 2. So if your numerator is set 2, you have a a here, you have to divide by a. That's why divide by set 2. That's why the ft is 3 over set 2 sin set 2t. Two Hence, okay, ft minus 2 pi will be 3 over set 2. Mean the t, it becomes bracket t minus 2 pi. Hence, okay, the fourth step, okay, the fourth step, taking the inverse Laplace at, at both hand side, mean the inverse Laplace of y s will get back y t. Okay, and taking the inverse Laplace at the right hand side function, 
which is in the form of a okay, exponent negative a s f s the result where the a is 2 pi so the result is f t minus 2 pi h t minus 2 pi so which is okay this is the f t minus 2 pi is so multiplied by h t minus 2 pi so this is the result okay and here we <coughs> show you how we can get the um the how we can solve the ODE involving of direct delta function using mapper coding. Okay, first of all, okay, we just okay, define an ODE. Let's say I label it as ODE2. Okay, this is our ODE, uh, second order differential equation, d2y dt2. Okay, mapper you have y bracket d. So plus 2y so 2. Okay, the dot here, this is a uh, multiply. I mean uh, to type the dot is actually you type the shift okay eight so two time y t and then the equal equal mm. three time delta t minus two pi okay if we collect everything to left hand side so minus three that okay direct delta function in maple is okay three time multiply eh? direct uh, capital D okay capital D uh, stand for the direct delta function a bracket t minus 2 pi. Okay, the blue color is the output of the mapper. And then we call in uh, this gate function in order to use the built-in function Laplace and inverse Laplace. Okay, let's say I label it as a, okay, uh, you can label it using any variable that you prefer. So let's say I call it as a g. Okay, taking the Laplace of the ODE2, okay, ODE2, it transforms uh, okay, uh, the function y t, okay, I mean the ODE2, which is originally is in function of t, and okay, after the Laplace transform, we turn it, okay, we change it into variable of s. So the okay, the second derivative, so we have a s squared, okay, actually y s minus y prime zero minus s y zero. As here, this statement, actually. First step, s squared y s minus s y zero minus y prime zero. So this is k two times of Laplace transform of y t. So Laplace transform of a direct delta function. So we get k okay, here minus three exponent negative two pi s. And then we substitute k. Okay, actually, we want to substitute this term Laplace transform y t t s become y s. Okay, d y zero become The substitute the okay, initial condition mean y prime zero equal to zero okay and y zero equal to zero get here and then okay, solve for the y s solve for the okay, y s here We're taking the inverse Laplace that's why you get the result okay three over two h t minus 2 pi sin set 2 t minus 2 pi okay, multiply set 2 because similar 3 over set 2 is actually equal to 3 set 2 over 2 okay with this thank you for your attentions